This room right here took a month to film. It took a lot of cleaning, building, reorganizing, and just general disorientation. I hope you enjoy this video because we've come a long way. And I couldn't be happier with how my room looks now. Welcome to my room transformation. I am very much looking forward to this because I have needed to redo my room for so long. There is zero storage, clutter everywhere. I myself am not someone who likes to clean. The combination makes for a very unlivable, unworkable space. And we all know that I'm trying to work towards being a more productive person and someone who's just at peace. And honestly, coming back to this space does not make, it does not make me feel any less agitated than I already am throughout the day. Let me give you a little look through of what we're working with. That's the bed, it's in the middle of the room. It's just not working for me. I've rearranged my room a million times, I still don't know where to put it. But after going to Ikea, I think I got some new ideas on how to split up a smaller space to make it look like it has more space. Honestly, this room transformation is probably gonna take a few, or not a few, a couple weeks. By then I'll probably need to change my sheets again. So I'll show you my new sheets when I get them. And then let me show you what the before is looking like. Got the bed in the middle, dresser over there, closet. Which, if you keep closed, doesn't look as messy. But we have packages, more clothes that I have to film, um, a little box from Amazon, which actually has a bunch of really cool cleaning stuff that I will be using, like this vacuum cleaner and this cleaning paste. Bomb. Then we have the desk area, which is just a whole other mess of its own. This over here, it's not just trash, okay? I keep all the packages or the packaging for the stuff that I get because if I sell anything, I just reuse the packaging because why I throw it away. Save the earth, guys. This little table, I think it's time for it to find a new home because it just doesn't fit with my room. And then we have this big mirror right here. Love that mirror, don't know where to put it. Moving on to the bathroom, we clearly have a lot of clutter. Mm -hmm. This is my makeup bin, but I just got a whole makeup organizer, which is downstairs. I'll show you all the packages that are on the stairs right now, just waiting for me to put them up. Um, I got some sort of organization over here. New electric toothbrush, guys. Not to be weird or annoying, but if you don't have an electric toothbrush, get one because I was anti-electric toothbrush for so long, which is kind of bad because I am in dental school, which electric toothbrush are just, you know, highly recommended and also not a scam. It's it's real. Ever since getting an electric toothbrush, I don't think I can ever go back. Like, it polishes your teeth. Like, my teeth are so much lighter now just because it does a way better job of cleaning. Now that you've seen the hoopla, that is my room. Here's how I'm thinking I'm going to rearrange my room. First, we're gonna move my bed to the corner. I think that will save a lot of space. And then we're gonna put the dresser at the end of it so that my TV is right in front of my bed. We're gonna put a shelf next to the bed and then the desk next to the shelf. I think the mirror is gonna stay where it is. And then the rack's gonna go next to my closet in that corner. And maybe we'll put a rug in, but I'm not sure. So let's see if this all works out according to plan. I wanted to start off with vacuuming because there was just so much hair on the ground and a lot of dust. I started sneezing a lot because there was just so much swirling in my nostrils, but it was a very vital step to start the cleaning process. handheld vacuum that was in the box that Amazon sent me. Can't get the, you know, the baseboards. So I'm trying to see if this will do it. Now we have to make a shelf because um, evidently all this stuff has nowhere to go, which is the issue that we had in the first place. So I'm thinking we're gonna put a shelf like right between the bed and the desk. 
That way it serves as a side table and a shelf. Now we're gonna work on the bathroom part, which is like a mess. Obviously you saw the counter. First I'm gonna build a little wheelie like cart thing to go next to like the toilet and shower area. Just so I can put products like toilet paper on there because currently that takes up a lot of space underneath my counter so I can't put other stuff on there. I'm really excited because the bathroom is like, I just love a cute bathroom. This is shockingly hard to build. So much harder than the shelf. It's so finicky. I can't get the little screws into the holes that they're supposed to be because like there's three different pieces of metal that's supposed to line up. And then this thing doesn't really fit in the corners. There's like no good way. I'm trying to get this hole back here. There's no good way to position myself to even get it in. Plus it won't stay in the fucking hole. So annoying. My back hurts. There is a chance that I smacked it too hard. Tiny little crack in it. As you saw, I put one of these boxes underneath my like counter in my bathroom, which cleared up so much space. I was very shocked. I am very shocked still at how much space I have under my counter now. Like that whole thing you saw was filled with a bunch of random things. We just put them in boxes and now there's just a lot of space, which I don't really know what to do with, but it looks so good. I'm very happy. I actually got these boxes for my shelf that I put up. They fit perfectly in there. Now we're gonna do my shelf and organize it and make it look cute, but also functional. I put all scarves and hats because they were just kind of laying out and it was a lot of clutter, a lot of color that looked really messy when you look at the room in the grand scheme of things. So just put it in a box. Moral of the story of this video is to just put it in a box. That just solves all your problems. Box. All about the angle, baby. It's probably been like two weeks since I embarked on this room transformation. I had so many other projects I was working on. And also I was waiting for a bunch of other stuff to come in. But anyway, it's time to wash my sheets. And I just got new sheets. This desk I'm selling, so now it's just like the mail desk. My sheets just came in. As you can tell, it's been pouring outside. This is from Cozy Earth. Sorry, I'm going very fast because I have to get to class. While I'm in class, I'll have this in the laundry so it's ready for me to put them on when I get back home. The packaging. This is what the bedding comes in, a nice little bag. I got their bamboo one because it's apparently very cooling. It's gonna go in the wash. They do bedding and bath and apparel. I really wanna try their towels. Ultra soft bamboo pullover crew. Ooh, that is really nice and thick and heavy. And then matching pants, kind of like hula pants, which I love. Oh, these are so soft. I got some socks because I love socks and I always lose them. You know, as the saying goes, you lose them in the dryer. That's not a saying. I love having my bed in the corner. I feel like I'm so much safer and I just sleep a lot better. I'm excited slash worried to see how hard it is to put on <laughs> my sheets. All of that's going into the wash and dryer and then I'll put them on when I get home. That just seems like efficient planning to me. 
just took a shower it's crazy what a good shower can do i feel like i could take on the world right now and so i finally had the courage to tackle my clothing issue so this dresser is now here but as you can see there's a lot of clothes on the ground the real core of the issue is that i need to get rid of clothes i actually don't wear a lot of them I don't like a lot of them, so I need to go through that and clear it out, and I need to clear out that as well. First, I think I'm going to rearrange my stuff. As you can see, there's a pile of pants on the ground. I just filmed a wardrobe essential. Currently, here are tops, and then I have sports bra in this corner. This one is trousers. Half of them are on the floor. These ones are all jeans, and it's clearly full even though half of them is on the floor. What I do have also is up here I have my underwear and my socks and these like the foldable cloth organizer boxes. And then I also have this rack right here that's just messily containing my linens. This is my plan. Jeans are gonna go in the wire baskets. Move the linens up here since I don't use them as much. I don't have to keep reaching for them. Here's gonna be underwear and socks. Go level down, trousers go level down. Let's get to work. This is your reminder. You go through your sock drawer and throw out a bunch of stuff because I got rid of all of these and I still had all of these. Like this is so full. Like compared to my underwear, this is so full. I guess I'm just obsessed with socks. I didn't realize. Guys, I was just on this swivel chair trying to make sure the stack of sweatshirts are neat. I threw one of the sweatshirts that I wanted to get rid of over there to a pile and instead hit the plant. Now there's dirt everywhere. Mm, it's okay. I didn't really want this plant anyway. I think that's just a sign that I should throw it out. So I'm gonna go do that. And then we're actually gonna repot all my plants. Some of them, such as this one, has seen better days. It's on its last leg. Actually, I don't even think it has a leg anymore. It's just gone. I have this bad boy, a little fig leaf. I actually cut this off for my friend's plant. Look at all those roots in there. It's doing amazing. So I'm gonna put this into this one because I feel like that would fit really nicely in there. Don't judge my little, my little red robin plastic bag, okay? Try to reuse, reduce, recycle. Maybe I regret reduce, reuse, recycling. And as you can see, this is why it's dead because I forgot to water it. Put some of this back in here. It's mighty dusty. I feel kind of bad because I feel like it maybe had potential. I just don't know what kind of plant this is and I don't like it. I just got a pot of soil. My God. Are these all just dead? <sighs> I don't even need my scissors. We're going to cut all the living ends off of here. So like this one. And we're just going to repopulate the whole thing. I'm going to use this jar that the other plant was in. This is my like growing bottle. It's very cute and I love it and I'll never get rid of it. That's the plan. Right about there. Oh, my children are dead. And then there were two. Let's give you some life. She needs some life. These socks are so cozy. I love them. The sheets do not come with a duvet cover, so this is just my one from Amazon. It's fine. I really like this one because it's like cooling. So it's the bamboo like material from Cozy Earth. I like to be cold when I sleep just because otherwise I feel like sticky and like gross. I like like the feeling of cool sheets on me. Came with a fitted sheet, which by the way, still don't know how to fold. And a flat sheet, but I don't ever use flat sheets because that just seems like extra work. Put on a flat sheet over my fitted sheet just for what? I, don't, I never understood that. Do any of you use a flat sheet on top of your fitted sheet? Discuss. These pillows, ugh, it's a really nice material. I just love a good, clean sheet, you know? It's also made from sustainable bamboo, so I really like supporting that. If you use my code Brittany35, you can get 35% off, and if you click the link in the description, it'll just be automatically applied to your order. 
I did really appreciate though that the fitted sheet had the side and top written on like a little tag just so I knew which way and I didn't have to guess. Like 9 out of 10 times I guess right? But there's that one time where I do it wrong and then I have to re-put the fitted sheet on which is it's not fun. I feel like it's such a little detail that all sheet companies should add it but they don't. I would like to take that up with someone. Last piece was my desk and it finally came in. This is the Flexi Spot EB8W staying desk. I got the wooden bamboo textured top with the white legs. It was super heavy. I think it said 90 pounds in the package and it definitely requires two people to move this upstairs. But it was so easy to put together. It was just like three pieces, basically just the tabletop, the legs, and then the little feet at the end. Even though it was super heavy, it was very easy to move. I love that I can change the height of it. I think it's gonna be perfect. Welcome to the new room, guys. Let's talk about my bed area. Super glad that I have my TV here, framed with a candle, framed with a plant. That's my little heating pad. I brought the boxes because I love the boxes. You guys saw how amazed I was at them. Now everything just kind of like is tucked away. Even though I still have the same amount of stuff in there, it's not like just out and about. And then the bottom one is gonna get another box. I don't think it's gonna be the same as this. I think it's just gonna be cream colored on the bottom. Those vitamins and wires. I just, I'm in love with boxes. I've just found the power of them. So I'm gonna get more boxes. I just really like how my bed's kind of tucked away right here. And just like having my own little corner to go to bed, I feel like it really separates my work and sleep space. Love this standing desk. It is so perfect. I did not realize how much I love a standing desk until I got this. So shout out to FlexiSpot for gifting me this. It's a million times more convenient to be standing like whenever I'm doing work because I feel like I'm doing work and I can't, I don't really like to sit for long periods of time. The perfect addition to my room. It gives me a lot of space. Like I feel like it's elevated, every, not everything's on the ground. And it also just fits really nicely with the like window. I kind of just feel like I'm at a bar table at Starbucks or something. Right now I do have a Mac mini desktop keyboard everything, but I'm selling like all of this. It'll pretty much just be my MacBook. And then I have my little books here. Love with this book. If you haven't read it, it is a fiction book, but it's also kind of just more like social commentary on American lives. Underneath my desk, I just have this box of old packaging. It doesn't look too bothersome down there to me, so I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it there. Here's my little plants. They have not been thriving. This olive plant, especially don't know what's going on here. We have my clothing rack area. This is gonna be my filming corner. It's always gonna look a little bit discombobulated just because like, just there's always gonna be like a bunch of different clothes on here. Right now I'm planning out an outfit video for you guys. So these are the few outfits that I've already planned and taken pictures in. And then my purses, I'm gonna stay here for the meantime. I'm gonna try to get rid of a lot of purses because I don't think I really need all of them. Having this really open kind of concept for my room feel like makes me a little bit more in the headspace to create stuff. I feel like before I had a lot of different blocks of like big items. So I didn't really have a lot of room to work with and I just felt like I couldn't, I was limited on space. And I didn't like that feeling. And then we have my dresser. I don't know what to do with these plants, but I think they're just gonna stay here because these are like my, the plants that I'm growing. And then I have my workout clothes just in two bins here because it couldn't fit anywhere else. You know what, this is still a work in progress. We're still figuring out a few details, but overall I would say we've improved. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. It always just looks so cluttered because there's so many different colored bottles and stuff, but I have a lot of skincare things also. My little makeup organizer, which I love. I think it looks the best. Like it's just kind of like a block, but it's so handy. Like, easy for me to find stuff and it looks more organized, I feel. I put this basket that was originally on my dresser in here. Oh, I never told you guys, but I love this little silicone tray thing that I got from Amazon. It's not a hard material, so it doesn't just slip off your toilet and I never worry about it and it looks like marble. What I'm happiest about is this cart right here. It's gotten a little bit more cluttered since I filmed my putting together of this thing, but I got new fragrances, so that went on here. And then I realized like I had this mirror, which would probably be perfect here. I get out the shower. All my lotions and my scents are like in one place. It's like a little shop that I stop at on my way out of the shower. And my little hair rack. My counters are just clean for once. So that is it for my room transformation. I hope you enjoyed coming on this journey with me. It was probably like a one month journey of trying to figure out where to put everything. I'm so happy that I did this. My room really needed it. I really needed it. My head really needed it. I'm just so comfortable now in my room. Yeah, shout out spring, shout out spring cleaning. We just need a little refresh. So I hope that if you are feeling a little disgruntled in life, that this inspires you to do a little spring organization refresh. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in a later video. Bye guys.